Hello and welcome to another episode of Pacifist Percent, a series that will never die because killing it would be against the rules. <laughs> we return now to find Michael, who is using the need to delete evidence from the FIB building as an excuse to satisfy his cosplay fetish. The fire department are en route to your location. Hello, fire truck. I ain't a baby. Now prepared for fun, all I had to do was place the getaway vehicle, but at the time, I had actually never done this version of the Bureau Raid. I learned quickly that I couldn't put the vehicle here or there, it seemed I couldn't put it anywhere. Not on this spot, not in this lot, not at the front of the cop shop. Not on the track, not at the back, not next to this homeless man and his knapsack. Basically, it was just a pain, so I placed it where I normally do for the Blitz Play Heist. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Role-playing as a janitor, using the outfit we took last episode, Michael simply walks into the FIB building to plant some explosives to later cause a distraction. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really funny joke, Frank. Very good. Very good, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. <laughs> He's so multi-talented, man. He can rob banks, he can cheat on his wife, he can ostracize his family, he can mop, he can whistle. What's not the love? Whoa, nice cock. Having now placed the final explosive, Michael disgracefully leaves before he finishes cleaning the entire floor. The magnitude of this man's crimes grows larger by the day. You can't keep getting away with it! Oh. I accidentally clicked my mouse. Maybe I was just punching the air because I was so excited. Yeah, job well done. Woo! Yeah! Working hard or hardly working, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, ah, yes. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. You look amazing. Thank you. You'd think now having worked as a janitor, Mike would be less willing to make such a mess that someone has to clean up, but at least now no one will find out about his shoddy janitorial work previously. Stairs are here! We take him up to 53! Not much further, let's punch it! This is his door, but... Which door is it? I'm assuming it will tell me which door it is when I get there. This door? It's not that door. So many doors are non-functional! Oh. Hey, we got the containment drive. Come on. How did I know which driver was? I can't die here. Ah, oh, shit, man. He's dead. This is devastating. I'm inconsolable. And I've killed myself. Oh, shit. Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. That's our paycheck you left right there. Having come to, all I had to do was leave the building. It's a good thing I had my oxygen supply and protective gear, or else I likely would have died from all the smoke, fire, and falling debris. So anyway, there were just a bunch of FIB agents hanging around who decided to wait and shoot at me as I was leaving. There are a lot of guys. Oh shit. Uh, serious mode. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time. So is this guy. It's a bad angle, actually. I could have gone to the right, though. 
See, I got a lot further that time. It's the furthest I've been. Oh, yeah, we're doing okay. Oh, crap. What is this? Oh, I'm all fifth. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Where'd they get the rope? What's the rope connected to? What type of rope is that? That, that How is that rope supporting three guys? The rope is connected to the rope? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Infinite strength. Any minute they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is gonna know? I feel like a kid who just wants notice from their parent. I didn't take anyone down. Papa Rockstar, please acknowledge my pacifist efforts. Let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> Michael quickly bails on the celebration, citing that he needs to be elsewhere. Do you want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. Enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Having abandoned Franklin to be molested by Lester, Michael goes to meet Mr. Richards and finds out that Devin Weston understandably wants to prevent their film from seeing the light of day. They're fucking us! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore. Michael, can you do something? Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer. That ain't who I am. Today? Some acknowledgement. About time. He wants to kill me! He wants to kill me! This continued slander calling me a killer. I want to do a lot of things to Molly, but killing her isn't one of them. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, that was nasty and needless. Hey, I'm just a witness, okay? That may as well be the tagline for this series. Pacifist percent. I'm just a witness, okay? This guy might actually kill me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I did not think this through. I didn't think this through. Don't, stop shooting me, dude. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, please. I, no, I'm so close. No, get up, get up in the air. I'm really surprised I didn't die there. What the? Why didn't the film get sucked in? That is a very fine question. She dropped it? So what? Do you think a jet engine wouldn't suck in a film? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. But I saved the print. So we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? We have backups everywhere. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. Michael, can you do something? Having now handled things with Mr. Richards, Michael goes to ask Dave and Steve to leave him alone because he was willing to do all those very illegal things for them. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <coughs> oh, shit, I'm only at half HP. Unfortunately, everyone planned to have a secret meeting in the exact same spot Michael did. Just bad timing, really. Despite my fine example of how to resolve conflict, an FIB agent shoots Steve in the leg, leading him to shoot Agent Sanchez in the head. There would have been a bloodbath, but everyone evenly spaces out before fighting, as dictated by the Geneva Convention of War. This is why we need pacifism, chat. This is an easy scene to beat, though. Oh, barely made it through. Oh boy. This I think I'm fucked though. There's no way to not shoot this guy. What the hell was that noise? Just, mm. Oh. I was about to comment like, oh, he's he's doing fine there, but no, nah, he's not. But he technically dies during the cutscene. So is it really my kill? I can roll. What does that get me though? Why does he keep making these weird noises? I can't change weapon. Can't change character. We'll try shooting the back of the he helicopter. I'm not even sure that will work. You think you have to hit the blaze? There's no way. Oh. He didn't give me the cutscene. I uh, just bugged the game. I did not know this was possible. Hmm. I, uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do now. Hmm. 
Like I can't even kill myself. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my way home. Dun, 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 I can't take cover. Oh my god, my arm hurts. Now finding myself in a familiar situation, that being one where I had no idea what I was doing, I decided to try and get myself a car in the hopes of gaining greater access to my character. Please be cars in the parking lot. There's no cars in the parking lot. There has to be some out the front though. There's no cars. There's no vehicles at all. Surely there must be vehicles somewhere though. Oh, car, car, please. Which way is he, which way is he turning? No, this way, no stop. Yeah. No! It's because of the gun. It spooked him. I had no choice. Please come back, old man. No. Okay, I aim, I aim downwards. So he does, this one doesn't get spooked. Okay. Oh, yes! Freedom! Freedom. It still forces me to aim down the side, but it uses a different weapon now. Having now finally got myself a car, let me quickly present all the ideas that I had to use said car to avoid killing the pilots. There's nothing here! Sure, I did learn things over the next hour, but the important question is, was any of it actually worth learning? No! Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, ba da 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 not even Poseidon himself could bring this pilot back to life. I couldn't even keep the tank that I got because mission failing in order to reset would of course remove it. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Dave, you're on a couple of uh, C4 then, man. Were you worried about that? You're not, you're not concerned? I guess he had a good reason not to be concerned. <laughs> What is your secret, Dave? Okay, let's try Michael. Ha! <laughs> what a bitch. Dying from one explosion. There's nothing to, for it but to hit the guy. No. Hey! If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend, it's gonna be me! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Finally moving on to the next scene, I found that Dave's strength didn't just exist in the form of explosion immunity. At least initially, it seemed he could easily handle the enemies. He got another one. Dave is really good? And Mike was sitting there doing nothing. With two enemies remaining, neither would go down, so I started to worry. I even called the cops to help, but they wouldn't come inside the compound. Oh, he, he died. That took a long time, but he did die. Well, I guess we'll just, <laughs> we just keep waiting for the last one, then. No way, dude. That's really disappointing. This time I'll go down, though. This time Dave quickly dispatched the first four enemies, but the last was still an issue. My job now was to replace as much of my body with bullets as possible. Oh, don't shoot Dave, shoot me. Shoot me. No. Me. Me. Oh, he died! No! He actually died! The other guy died as I died! Oh my god, fuck you! You can't make that shit up, dude! Growing more annoyed with Dave's failure, I tried to move him to a better position, but he would always move back to the same spot, likely because that spot completely lacked any cover and it made no sense to stand there. <laughs> Look at this! Oh shit. He can get him, we saw he got him. We saw he got him before. Maybe he's programmed to miss, but eventually like, he fucks up and hits him? Yeah, so we'll give it, I don't know, like five minutes. Oh, there we go. Finally moving on and regaining access to switching characters, I hoped I could just sit as Michael and Trevor would handle things. Oh, he's just wrecking him. Of course, it didn't matter how many enemies Trevor killed. I already knew that the game would only progress me once Michael got down to the ground floor. Oh shit. Uh, I did not know there were enemies here. Do I have a parachute? Do I have a parachute? I do.
but I have a parachute. What? It turns out that the game fails you before you even hit to prevent you from jumping off to the ground floor. Thanks, Rockstar. Okay. Um... Don't kill me, please. Okay. Um... There has to be a way to get Michael down. Oh, wait, what? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. How I got the checkpoint didn't matter. All that mattered was that I got it. So I decided to let Trevor loose again. <laughs> what type of shot was that? How is he not killing him? Ah, uh, that's a problem. Uh, <sighs> Trevor, why? Get him, Trevor. That was directly on target, and he did not die. That is not good. Well, we use the RPG for the small chance that fire actually does something. So you have chosen death. I saw that coming. Oddly, explosive weapons specifically seemed to be ineffective, so obviously I decided not to use them. I also called the cops for support. Whether it be emotional or violence, I could honestly have used both at that point. Oh, hello. Can you not shoot at me, please? Oh, is he gonna die? Oh, they can kill someone. They can kill some people. I definitely don't want Trevor with that sniper rifle, though, because he is shooting at the ground. He's literally shooting at the ground. I guess he's trying to shoot at the helicopter, but he can't aim upwards. That is a, a fascinating problem to have. Michael hit him. Oh, he died. Michael and, and Dave. Ah, uh, he can't seemingly kill that guy, though. It's a lot of damage going into that guy. Like, I think I only need to kill one guy to progress. While my allies were able to kill the FIB agents, they were unable to kill the Meriwether, and they were crucial for me to be able to progress, so it seemed I had run out of options. Wait. Maybe. Just maybe. I realized I still hadn't tested fire, so there was one last hope, but it did involve me giving Trevor an RPG again. Move over here. I just killed them. No! No! In some missions, when you switch characters, they will stop shooting, but that isn't the case here. This is why Michael was able to kill a Meriwether while he was unable to do so before. I had control. Therefore, I had to start all over again because merely failing didn't put me back before this mistake. No, 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 I'm just here for the opera. And now we wait. How is this guy not dead yet? He's done it already. What's the problem? I think I'm legitimately just waiting for him to bug so he accidentally shoots him. He's dumb. Oh, it's the cops. Wait, what? Uh, uh, what? It isn't clear why the cops finally showed up, but they were of great help clearing out the remaining enemies. Their efforts even meant I didn't need to cheaply get the checkpoint that I did last time with Michael. Okay, so we'll run forward again. Where are the enemies? Why are there no enemies? Why are these two dead? What? Well, this is positive. Confusing, but positive. Oh, there's, the, there's my cop. How much is this cost to the taxpayer? He's, he's the cop is shooting at that guy. Given that off screen, the cops had killed these two on the walkway and one of the Meriwether underneath, all that was left was for my allies to down some FIB and I was home free. Oh, another cop spawned. And died. Usually what happens is when a, when a set of cops dies, they, they get more. There's one more dead. We're very fortunate you don't need to kill the helicopter. <laughs> They're both laying into the wall over there, dude. Look at him. The oh, is he getting him? You got him? 
You got him? Yes! Any other Woo! The government want to show up? This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. He turns on his flashlight, man. He knows what's going on. <laughs> Michael just dies. He turns on the flashlight and he just dies. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, we got the checkpoint. I already knew that thankfully no one in the parking lot has to die and the helicopter doesn't have to be downed either. All you have to do is outdistance it. That was what are you doing smoking, huh? No, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? We still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. If I want to kill myself, I will. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. Trevor, after reaffirming that he still wants to do the big score, walks off and that ends the episode. Thank you for watching. After Bureau Raid, Legal Trouble and the wrap up, we sadly still do have to add one more kill to our total, but let's be real, could have been worse. I hope you're all doing well.